Good evening everybody and welcome back to the channel. So, earlier on today I put a post on the community tab asking you guys to send in your questions for a Q&A video which I did say I was going to do a long time ago. It was a good few months ago but never got around to doing it because of the sheer amount of content that I had at that point and it's even more now but I decided that I wanted to do it because you know Q&As are always fun. I love reading you uh, the questions that you guys have sent in and answering them for you. So, uh, before we get into that, let me just make it clear. I'm not going to answer every question now. I'm just going to pick a few out. Um, mostly like the fun, light-hearted ones. And uh, the more serious comments and personal comments. And besides, you know, other, other things. Uh, I'll save for a part two. Because I want to give you guys time to uh, send in more questions. Because I know there's so many questions out there that you guys want to ask. Because, uh, you know, we've done this a few times. And... There's been so many different questions been sent in that I've never got around to answering. So, yeah, we'll do we'll do more than one of these. But right now, we're gonna do a little Q and A answer session. So, you sent in your questions. So I'm gonna start with the uh, the new post that I put on today. The questions that you've sent here. Uh, so let's take a look. Uh, okay, so London Traveller three fifty eight asked. Do I wish that they continued with Still Game? Does the Pope shit in the woods? Well, he would if there was a bear chasing him. Uh, but yeah, the answer to that question is yes, of course I do. I would have loved for them to continue. But the thing is, it's taken me a while to come round to this conclusion. Because at the time, it's not that long ago actually that I watched the final episode. It was only a couple of months. I mean, it was last year, but it's still only a few months ago. It's only April. Uh, and obviously I was really sad when I got to the last episode, I was like, oh no, no more new episodes, no more Jack and Victor, no more of this beautiful uh, sitcom that I've come to love over the course of however, how, however much time it took for me to finish it, you know, every single character, well, nearly every character just ended up loving them all, they were all great, and uh, it's brought so many fun and interesting people to uh, this channel, and uh it's done a lot. It's done a lot for me. Still game the show, so I was gutted when it ended. But eventually, I just came to the conclusion that it was the right time to do it because there's only so much that you can do with one uh, story, one one show, which was essentially two old guys that live next door to each other. They live on a council estate in a, a borough of Glasgow, and. There's only so much that you can do with that, and if you look at all the uh, the best British sitcoms and comedy shows, you'll notice how many of them only have like three three series. So Porridge, you know, three series of six to eight episodes. Although I think season two had like a few more. Uh, you know, Gimme Gimme Gimme, three series. Bottom, three series. Uh, bad Education that we're doing at the moment. I mean. I know it's not up there with those kinds kinds of legendary sitcoms, but that's only got three series to it as well. In the original run, I know they've, they've brought it back now, but Jack Whitehall isn't in it, so I don't think I'm going to do it when we get to the end of the original three series. But yeah, so many... Um, Faulty Towers, three series, wasn't it? Or was it two? Was Faulty two or three? Uh, I think it was... Oh no, two seasons! Oh, excuse me, right, I was wrong. Folly Towers have two seasons. But yeah, still, they're quite short over very quickly because uh, even if you've got enough ideas to fill three, four, five, six series, just because you've got enough ideas doesn't mean that they're good ideas. Um, anyway, I'm, you know, making a lot out of one question. So, short answer is yes, I do wish they continued... But I also agree that it was the right time to end it. Because I saw the comments from people saying that the, the new revamped series weren't as good as the original. In my opinion, I thought they were. I thought they were really good. I, I loved them. But, uh, yeah. Short answer, yes, I do wish they'd continue. But I agree it was the right time to stop it. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, man. Right, so, Mikey. Mikey's a legend. Uh, who would be your ideal flatmate from a comedy series? Oh, 
That's a tough one. Because there's so many comedy series with a character that I think it would be like a good laugh to live with. I mean, obviously, immediately my mind goes to Richie from Bottom. I think it'd just be an endless laugh. But then you think about Linda from Gimme Gimme Gimme. Uh, or Del Boy from Holy Fools and Horses. Or Joey from Friends. You know, there's so many. Can I pick more than one? Can I pretend it's like a, a big flat, huge studio apartment in like Manhattan or something? And pick a few? I'll tell you what, it's your question, Mikey, but it's my Q&A, so I'll make the rules. Yes, I can. Right. So, let's say that this flat's big enough for a bunch of people. I would have Richie from Bottom to provide the humour and uh, his little schemes. Mind you, Eddie was more the, like, the mastermind, the schemer. And it's more when they're together that they're the characters that we love. But then again, remember the state of their apartment? I mean, he literally said the first time he had a woman come back when he was on his way to his bedroom to get ready for, you know, he said, give me a minute, I'm just going to go scrape off the sheets. Uh, we'll come back to that one. Right, so obviously I'd have Joey from Friends because, you know, he'd uh, make sure that we had a lot of good food in and uh, there'd be sandwiches on the go all the time and all the sandwiches. Plus he's Italian, so it'd be a great excuse to eat a lot of Italian food, which I love. I love Italian food. It's the well, it's, it's not the best. No, I'd say English food is the best. But, yeah, I love Italian food. So I'd have Joey. Uh, Del Boy yeah I'd have Del Boy to um, you know if we ever needed it make sure that we have someone who can come up with good schemes to make a bit of money and keep us you know alright um, I would have Linda, yeah, I'd have Linda, because uh, she'd be the one who decide, why don't we go out or have a party or whatever, you know, she'd keep it fun, so I'd have Linda. I'd have Isa from Still Game because even though it's portrayed as her most annoying trait in the show, I'd actually enjoy having her around, talking and coming back with all the dirt on our neighbours and everybody that we live around. You know, I, I, I'd actually, I, I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't be mad at that. So yeah, Isa. Um. So, yeah, I think at that point, I, right, so we've got Linda, we've got Isa, we've got Joey from Friends, and Del Boy. That's four. Right, we'll say that's enough. So, yeah, Del Boy, Joey, Linda, and Isa. I think that'd be a fun place to live. Right, we'll leave it. We'll leave that there. If you were to go to a fancy dress party with a sitcom theme, who would you go as? This is from Mikey as well. Uh, it de That depends. Am I going on my own or am I going with a friend? Because if I was going as a pair, I'd have us dress up as Richie and Eddie or Jack and Victor. Um, but if I'm going on my own... Del Boy? Yeah, Del Boy. Thomas 
another legend of the channel. Would you like to one day study more drama and being? Yes, I would. I, that's like my dream job. I'd love that. But I don't know how I'd do it. It's not easy. It's not easy to get into that kind of thing if you live in a big city. But where I live, there's no opportunities to do that. You know? They don't even a proper recording studio in this town. Never, never mind a TV studio or, you know. I, nearest, nearest ITV place is about 30 miles away from here. But yes, I would. Simple answer. Definitely. Right, so I've got some more questions here from the old post. And there are a lot of questions on this. So let's take a look. Um, so from Lewis Webster, he asked, which three artists would I choose to write a song with? Uh, well, first of all, probably Tom, it, well, it depends what kind of, oh no, right, let's say it's a rap song. Because I've actually written a few rap songs myself. I'd write a rap song with NF, Tom McDonald, and uh, he's dead, so I can't pick two pack. And he hasn't said dead or alive. It's just that you know. Right, NF, Tom. And probably Eminem, yeah, because he's he's a great lyricist. So yeah, NF, Tom McDonald, and Eminem. Um, let's have a look. Right, I think these are Callum James's questions. He sent the most questions on that post, which I'm which I love, by the way. I actually told him. He he, he said he actually said. What did he say? said something about I'm like, I'm sorry for sending so many and I was like oh yeah sorry for so many questions more keep popping up into my head and I literally said to him uh, what did I said something like don't be silly the more the better so uh, yeah he said uh, have you ever played any of the dishonored Saints Row or Red Dead Redemption games if not would you ever be up for doing a stream of either of them on YouTube or Twitch. Well, Dishonored No, Saints Row, only time I played it was like when I was like 9, 10 and my Uncle Michael had it and he loved it and he had me play it once but I didn't really enjoy it. And Red Redemption, yeah I've got Red Redemption 2 and I do stream it on Twitch sometimes. Well not sometimes, I've done it like once. <laughs> but I've started getting back into streaming again because uh, I've started like a community and we're all supporting each other at the moment getting each other do, doing quite well you know we're supporting each other in that and I did a, a Red Dead stream a few weeks ago and I'd be willing to do it more if you'd like to see that so yeah let's have a look what else Callum has asked Have I ever watched Inside Number 9? No, I haven't. I know what that is. It's a sitcom, right? I haven't watched it. But, yeah, again, in the future, if you want me to, I will. Okay. No, actually, let's go back to see what else. Okay, another question from Lewis Webster. Who's your five favourite actors and five favourite actresses? Uh, well... Okay, let's start with actors. No, let's start with actresses. Yeah, ladies first. Get the hardest one out of the way first. Because it's hard to choose between actresses. Because I keep changing my favourite depending on what I watch. But I guess I'd probably start with... Uh, Okay, Gillian Anderson, number one. Um, uh, 
Emma Watson. Wait, no, hold on. Am I thinking of the right person? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm thinking of the wrong person. Uh, I should know this woman's name like that. But I don't. Emma Thompson! See, I should know that name. Yeah, Dame Emma Thompson, number two. Uh, I'm probably going to forget somebody. Try to think of this. I'm... Oh, Jennifer Aniston. Number three. Come here. Uh. Hmm. Do you know what? I'm going to cheat. Seeing a list of names, it will jog my memory. No, none of them. He's made this really difficult by saying five of each, not just five made up of actors and actresses. Oh, Kathy Bates. That's four, right? Oh. Maggie Smith. Yeah. Okay. Actors. David Tennant, Will Smith, Denzel Washington. Christian Bale. Yeah. A lot easier. Uh... See, I think Matt Damon, but... Don't know. Oh wait, I'm forgetting. Okay. Need to be more selective. Jim Carrey needs to go in the list no matter what. Robin Williams needs to go in the list no matter what. Will Smith needs to go in the list. So they're three that are always going to be there. Oh, wait. Can I change one of my actresses? 
Who did I pick? Jennifer Aniston, Gillian Anderson, Emma Thompson. No, Aniston. Aniston Anderson, <laughs> Emma Thompson, Maggie Smith, and Sally Field. There we go. Right, back to the actors. So, Smith, Kerry, and Williams. Christy, uh, actually. You know, I'm really tempted to say Adam Sandler just because of how much he was a part of the movies that I watched as a kid. But, you know, we're being serious here, aren't we? Like, See, Kiefer Sutherland again, a good shout. Not Tom Cruise. Hardly watched any of his movies, Tom Cruise. In fact, if you asked me, I, I probably couldn't pick one off out of my head. Um, Okay, so we've got the three that are always going to be there, which are Will Smith, Jim Carrey, and Robin Williams. Uh, Denzel Washington. And... Right, I'll just say Christine Bale, because he's taking too long for one question. But I could change it at some point, and I'll let you know if I do. So we'll finish it off with Christine Bale. Right. He's also done the same question for rap and rock artists. I'm not going to do that now, because that'll take me even longer, I think. So, let's have a look at some other questions. Who's your... Uh, wait, who's this from Callum James this is from who's your favourite character in Mrs Brown's Boys I mean I know this is going to make me sound like a normie but probably Mrs Brown I mean she's the centrepiece of everything in that show isn't she? well no okay she he whatever you want but yeah Mrs Brown Have you ever seen the anime film Spirited Away? No, I haven't. And I know a lot of people are going to hate me for that. But anime is one thing that I've never, ever been into. But I know it's not like that kind of anime. Like that it's a really special movie and a lot of people love it. So, uh, I'm going to... You know, I'm, I haven't seen it. But if someone requests it, then I guess I can't really say no. Um, that one, that one was from Callum James, by the way. What is your dream car? <laughs> oh, Callum. Now that is a question because this is something that changes depending on which way the wind is blowing from day to day. So, how old am I now? 27, it's 2024. So let's say about... seven years ago... it was...
that uh, 2015 Jaguar F-Type Coupe. That was my dream car. Uh, but now it is that. And yes, of course, I saw it on Top Gear. Jeremy re drove it, reviewed it, and I have been in love with it ever since. I don't think there's a car I've seen where I've just thought, I want that more. Because to start with, to be, you know, as an Englishman, if you're an Englishman who likes cars, you have to love the E-Type Jaguar. Otherwise, you're just a hypocrite. That's based off an E-Type. Well, it is an E-Type Jaguar that's just, you know, improved. Restored, basically. But yeah, my dream car is probably the Eagle Speedster. Only problem is, to buy one of them these days, you're looking at about 700 grand. Yeah. It started out half a million when it was new. So I'm never going to get one. But... If someone said to me, if I had like a day left to live and someone said, right, you can drive any car you want for a couple of hours, I'd drive one of them around like the country roads around Yorkshire in one of them. In the summer with, well, it doesn't have a roof, so yeah, Eagle Speedster, I think. Because, you know, the sound of it, it's just beautiful. Um. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. This is this is a uh, basically the moment I fell in love with it. And then there's the noise. I love that thing. <laughs> it is spitting fire. It's a spitfire. It's the noise. This to me is absolute perfection. Turned it into a reaction. <laughs> I will put my hand on my heart and say here and now, I have never, ever driven a car, ever, that I wanted more than this one. Same here, but watched on here. I yearn to have it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's, uh, I'd say that's my dream car, yeah. It's just amazing. Uh, how are we doing for time? Just coming up to the half hour mark. Right. Um, is there any other questions I can answer quickly? Who's your favourite character on Mind Your Language from Callum Tarot?
Oh, he also asked about the uh, the games. What are my thoughts about them? If I've played any of them. Uh, well, Red, Redem Red Dead 2, probably the most aesthetically beautiful game I've ever seen. Um, I don't understand people who don't like it. The attention to detail is ridiculous. I love it. I, I just find it baffling how a comp the same company who can make a game like that also made the definitive editions re-releases. Just no, it doesn't. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, okay. So, we'll say... We'll call that an end. Um, and as I said, we'll do a part two when I've had more questions come in. So, uh, thank you to everybody who asked questions on the original post, which was four months ago, and the post that I put on today. You know, I really appreciate the feedback and you guys participating in this. Um... Keep the questions coming in, comment on the, the same post, just leave them on there and I will get to them in the next Q&A, uh, well, answer session that I do. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go and uh, make sure you've got some content coming. Um, I think I'm going to do a Patreon video next tonight and then... Well, we'll see. Yeah, so I'm going to go and do that now. So thanks everybody for watching. Thank you for your questions. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you later.